What's going on everybody? Justin here, the Winds of Change is the channel name. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, I got an email today that said Kohl's has 50% off of their already low prices, right? So their clearance that is already marked down is gonna be 50% off. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go check it out. Now, I'm gonna do some online arbitrage with it, but not in this video. This video, we're gonna go into an actual Kohl's and we're gonna see if we can't find anything to resell online to make a profit it's called retail arbitrage if you don't know that's what it is you go to retail stores either online or brick and mortar find things to sell online at a higher price in our case we're going to be doing amazon uh specifically fba but you can do ebay mercari poshmark all that kind of stuff we're doing amazon at a higher price so you buy it at the store you sell it on amazon they take their humongous cut you minus what you spent and you're left over with the profit. You do that over and over again, and then that's your side hustle or your full-time gig. We're gonna go do it. Let's check out what they got. All right, so I'm not a Kohl's frequent shopper. So I'm gonna treat this just like any other uh, store. And I'm gonna start with the toys check out the health and beauty, maybe some shoes and clothes and see what we can find. Okay, so I was in here earlier this week returning some stuff and, it, and they did not have 50% off their clearance and it looks like they even just rearranged everything. So I don't know if they have a specific clearance section. Oh yeah, look, right up here of the toys. Now, I'm guessing that these aren't really gonna be worth anything. These Buzz Light Years, even these uh, like Wakanda people down here. Um, last time I checked them, they were not really selling for much online. So it looks like there's just this small little section right here that we can see first off. So let's see if we can find anything. Yeah, so even though these are like good deals in themselves, you know, this is half off. So this is going to be like 3150 or something like that. And this is going to be like 16. Uh, you're going to lose money on this if you try to resell it, minus the fees and everything through FBA. This you're not going to, I mean, you might make a dollar, but I'm not spending 30 to make a dollar. You could possibly check the keeper graphs and hold on to them and see if they sell more like during the holidays or something like that. But as it is right now, these aren't really good buys. We'll keep looking. Okay, so everything that I've checked out has not been good, except for these. And these, these actually, well, these really aren't good either, but let me show you why. So um, these Osmos here, um, $60, half off of that is 30. On this one, you can sell it super low rank. Gonna make about uh, 15, 20 bucks. That would be a buy all day, except Amazon's on the listing. And if you check the keeper graph, Amazon has the buy box 100% of the time. If Amazon is on a buy box, I don't always skip the product. But if it is on the buy box 100% of the time, odds are I'm going to end up spending a lot of money and letting it sit for a while to recoup it or just not uh, getting anything back at all. So I'm not going to compete with the big dog on that one. Plus, I'm gated. I could get ungated um, <clears throat> through Kohl's even, but I'd probably have to spend like $600 uh, to do that. Um, I mean, you could, you know, don't share this with everyone, but you could return it, I guess, if your conscience lets you, I mean, it's still new, you're just pretty much borrowing it. So you could do that, but, uh, Amazon the listing, I'm going to pass and it doesn't look like they have any more clearance here in, uh, the toy section. So we'll probably go on to a different section now. Okay. I got a couple hits. So I'm going to actually pick this one up right here. Um, if you look, it's selling for 25 low, but um, there's only one seller at 25. It's historically at like 35 and that's the next seller. And actually 35 has the buy box. So all you people out there who think you can cut by 10 and get the buy box, it doesn't always work. I'm going to make 10 bucks on it because it's going to be like 1150 or something. And then same with this one, this Calvin Klein. This sticker, it just looks like it got a little bit of like dirt on it or something. So we'll just pop that off, really. I mean, these are still folded, still new in the package. Uh, again, you're gonna make about 10 off this as well. So that's pretty good right there, about 20 bucks. And then we're just gonna look through the rest of these. It looks like they should all be on clearance, but they don't have clearance 
stickers on them, so maybe they're not. Now here's the kind of clearance ones you definitely want to watch out for when you're buying clothes. See this? Um, it's missing one, right? <laughs> or if you get one that's not missing one, but it's like all uh, folded up and stuff, you want to pass up on those. Those are definitely not new. I probably actually wiped out this place the last time I was here. They did their 50% off clearance like a few weeks ago. And it looks like I probably wiped out all the good ones. So it'll probably be worth actually going just to another Kohl's um, to check and see because they've already sold out all the ones that I had. Uh, so you're not going to use that. Box is torn. See, there's nothing even in there. This one, certainly not going to get that. So, yeah, but I think I may have cleared all that section out. Oh, baby. Nike. Nike underwear. We're going to be paying, what, $13.50 for it? And uh, going to be making about $10 on those. Brand new. Check the size. Very good. It's a fast seller, 81000 Going to get those as well. Let's see if they got any more down here. Because that one was marked as clearance, but it was just sort of in the middle of everything. So I don't know what... Like, you would think that they would all be on clearance, right? Unless it was just that particular, like, colorway. So, that might have been the only one. But we'll take what we can get. Yeah, they definitely did not separate out their clearance. They just sort of have a couple of them marked. Oh, here, look at this. Here we go. Boom, right there. Let me know in the comments if you wear that and what that is. Yikes. They got a bunch of them. They're not on clearance, though. So they have taken the lids off of these boxes, which are unfortunate, but these boots are actually just restricted in general on Amazon. But they are going to be, oh, I dropped it. These are gonna be, what, like $27? And if you look on Amazon or on eBay, they're actually selling for like in the 80s. So this may be actually something to get as like new without box. Or something like that on eBay if you're into eBay and probably make a pretty good profit on that especially if you hold them till the weather turns okay so this is actually this is actually really 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 good so um, I am not ungated in UGG but um, I could probably get ungated in UGG and that would allow me to sell these cool Coolabura now these are going to be like like soft like it looks like uh, sandals here but these are here going to be twenty one dollars and they're selling for seventy online and you're going to make like thirty dollars a piece and uh, they're all kinds of different sizes and stuff like that so part of me wants to just load up on these and then go for the ungating what do you guys think do you ever do that buy stuff and then hope that you get ungated in it um i've been doing that more lately and it's been working because if that works look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen what's eighteen times 30 i don't know like 600 bucks almost a little bit less that's going to be phenomenal amazon only has the buy box on them 43 percent of the time so look at the keeper graph 43% of the time means it's being shared, means you got a pretty good chance at selling those shoes. So I think I may, I may actually get those. Again, really, really good deal here. You're gonna be paying like a 23 for these just about and uh, selling them. I'm gonna be making about 12, $13 on each one, which is like 50% ROI, which is really good, super fast seller. Amazon's not on the rating. So, you know, it'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. Well, you couldn't do this one because it's got a slice in it. But you'd have to be on gated in New Balance, which isn't hard to do. So that's still really, really decent. So we're going to get probably about 600 over here and then probably about, you know, 60 over here and just like 30 in there. So we're at just about $700 estimated profit. I've been here for about, uh, about 35 minutes, which is awesome. I've also got uh, women's clearance shoes over here. Um, a lot of the box lids are ripped off though. So I think I'm gonna pass on those. There was actually some other Coolabra Uggs uh, for kids back there. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna risk it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, buy them. And uh, hopefully I get ungated in them for Amazon. Uh, but if not, I'm just going to go ahead and sell them on eBay too. I mean, they're still making about 15, 20 on eBay as well. So 
I'm definitely uh, gonna grab them. All right, if you've got the patience to do clothing, you probably would find some good stuff in here. Um, there's just a lot of it, but as you dig through it, I mean, I'm sure that you'll find some great deals. These here, Adidas three stripe, I think they're like 12 bucks. Yeah, 12.50, that's gonna be good there, three XLs. I think, I don't think you're going to make anything on them if you resell them, but I mean, it's still a good deal. And some of the sizes may actually be going for more. You just have to check. Okay, back over here. I had to go home and eat. We eat dinner, 6.30 every night. So I had to head home and eat. It was amazing. And uh, come back out, got my tax exempt. And I'm going to try to fit these into here. And then hopefully it'll give us a hard time about tax exemption and that kind of stuff. And hopefully we can get ungated, which I don't see why we can't. I've done it for a bunch of other things. So we're going to pull the trigger on these. Um, like I said, if these don't work out, we can always go to eBay with them if they don't work out on Amazon. I'm not going to go through all the different sizes here um, because I'm going to have to go home and go through them anyway. And I'm going to go through them. And uh, if they're like incomplete or they're not there or like they're dirty, I'm just going to have to return them. And uh, it looks like Amazon is on some of the listings, not on some of the other listings. So too much to go through right now on the phone, unless I just want to stand in here, but I don't. I want to keep moving. We'll take care of it later and return what is uh, is not good. So let's load them up. Then we're going to grab a couple of these New Balance too. Um, now we're spending $22.50 and we're going to make $17 on these. I'm not going to get this one because the box is broke. I am going to get this one here though. And Amazon is on the listing, but they've only got the buy box 5% of the time. And Zappos only has the buy box like 9% of the time. So they're definitely sharing the buy box on these. Um, <clears throat> if you guys don't know, Zappos is actually owned by uh, Amazon as well. So we're going to get these and it looks like we're going to have a pretty successful trip here at... Uh, at Kohl's. Granted, we can get ungated, so I'm, I'm hopeful. Okay, so I couldn't record coming out because I had an employee with me. We took him out on that uh, U-card is what they called it, and uh, we got out of there. So, this is actually really cool. I ended up getting each of those for about $13 and some change each. So, let me show you this here. I spent about $350 something dollars each of those shoes right there, $13.44 for each pair. That's phenomenal. So what happened was, is I signed up for a Kohl's card and got 35% off plus the 50% off. And uh, well, it was sort of a little shifty, right? Because as I was doing all those shoes, they had like three people come up and they were all, you have to check the size on every individual box. Um, and the lady was like, oh, are you getting these for people that need them? And like, I said yes, because I am. I'm buying them to sell them to people that need them, right? But I think she was implying, are you buying them to like donate? And uh, so, and I know this because at the end of everything, after I gave her my tax exempt and all that kind of stuff, she said, thank you for all you do for the community. And I just said, thank you for what you did tonight. Appreciate it for being you know, helpful and, and have a good night. So that 35%, um, was it was a bonus i wasn't expecting it uh, but i'm grateful that uh that it happened so 1344 for those we were making about 30 um on the coolaburras to begin with so we're just going to say that we're going to be making 40 now um i got 23 pair of shoes i think 18 or 19 of the coolaburras and then like three or four of the new balance and then some of the underwear so we're going to just say 40 dollars a shoe for 20 shoes and then the other items we'll have as like some flex room and we're going to say 800 dollars potential profit from one hour of shopping at kohl's with their 50 percent off clearance deals so maybe worth going to more kohl's let me know if you all have any luck going to kohl's um and and, and finding things to resell it's sort of hit or miss today i think it was a good day uh, we still have the next uh, leg work to get ungated, which I don't think that's going to be an issue. And uh, we're going to get these off uh, to Amazon and maybe hold on to them to the winter when they may sell more. Um, but we'll see, right? I'm gonna, my plan is to send them to FBA. If that doesn't work or I can't get ungated for some reason, uh, eBay, Macari, Poshmark is still going to be a great deal, especially only paying $14 for these. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you've had any luck with Kohl's, 
what your retail arbitrage model is, anything you want to leave in the comments. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't be a jerk. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And until next time, I'll catch you all later.